Hi guys, we're at the Iron Knob Cemetery in South Australia. We're standing at the back of it. This is a little shelter with a rainwater tank, a midget rainwater tank. Uh, the car is over there and that's where the gate is. So we're going to do a walk back over towards the car. See what we can find. This is Bruce. Bruce Wet Wheatra. See the little shelter there. This is this mining land. Iron ore. No doubt there's some people buried in here who were killed in the mines. This is Haradine, Ray Haradine, Annie May, Marsland. There's quite a few modern. What year is this one up here? Let's have a look. 19, no, 2011. Betty. The wife of Samuel Graham went in there. So there are quite a few modern ones around. There's some steel markers for unnamed sites. And up over that way further, there's some white, very new markers that mark out the lanes. Let's have a look at this one here. See if I can read it to you. Myra Johnson, 59, and Frederick Johnson. So, as I said, you can see there's quite a few modern ones. Classic green glass. It's a lot of flowers, too. So, we actually struggled to find this. You see the backdrop? If I zoom in. I believe that we have something to do with the mine. Just have a walk across, see if we find anything interesting. Cassia, Cassia. K-A-S-I-A-H, Marshall, 84, use that, 56 and 50. This looks like a bit a little older. Over here. You can see, might just zoom it back out a bit so you can see a bit more. It's probably my first non-windy day. Some unnamed Margaret, she never got buried with her expecting other half. There's an immortal, this one in her sight. I haven't seen one like that before. You can see these on another one of my videos, which is the um, Handorf Cemetery, features a lot of these. This is unusual in that it it's the first one I've ever seen that's actually down in at the same level. What year was that? 1989. It's interesting because the only ones I've seen have always been older, and I'm assuming it is old. 1989, yep. Darcy. Eleanor, 57, and another Matthews, alright, this one's got a lot of pig space, it's a plant we have in Australia that grows very well in dry places, and named Captured. 
wide. It's like every cemetery you go to, you always see names in groups, obviously families that lived in the area. Right. This one's got an unusual little railing on it. Very strange. Just tuck through here and have a look at this. You read that one for yourself. What a name. Theopolis Batson Edwards, age 85. It's definitely unusual. I guess they put covering over the top of it. And lots of unnamed ones, although it probably is on the list with the council. It's this little one here. Little bubba. A tiny one. And as I said, there you can see the car over there, it's back where the gate is. This one's unusual because it appears to be two graves with the same person. It does, I don't know if you can read it on here, but it says Crystal Warman. And that says Crystal Warman. And uh, this one says Love Mum Russell. Got Chad or so A in there. Sure. Somebody's been doing some work there. Nineteen thirty nine. Say nineteen thirty eight. It's an unusual one. I'm gathering they just didn't have much money if you've got things like galve pipe as a surround. And this is another type. There's a few of these with these heavy, these heavy posts. Looks like a little one. A little bit of raw iron. Not much, the other one in the background there, you can see one of the heavy iron ones. This is the darling infant daughter of Horace and Isabel Hall, aged ten and a half months, and then I wonder what happened to mum and dad. And this. I wonder what happens to something that it ends up in that shape. that I also want to show you. So just show you the raw iron on this beautiful one. Slowly losing its bits falling off, breaking off. And right back to the gate. You can see the entrance just there and this one's for Giuseppe Grimmer age 25 years wondered if he was injured in the mines okay and this is looking back
and then without making your head spin you just take you back to the view around here Okay guys, that's the Iron Knob Cemetery in South Australia. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.